Run! Run for your life! I mean, it doesn't look too bad. It definitely needs some work with the animations, don't get me wrong. Oh my god, she moves fast, too. Woo! Oh my god. Look at this. It just feels so different from third person. It's crazy. I just wish they would have done this initially with this game. Go so check it out. Cyberpunk 2077 in third person. We are wearing David's jacket, of course, from Edge Runners. Oh my God, I love Edge Runners so much. You have no idea. But yes, this changes the game completely, playing it in third person perspective. Finally, you can really celebrate what your character is wearing and really show off the customization. I just love it. Now there's a little bit of caveat with this is that it's number one, not an officially supported thing and it is a PC mod. Look, we're gonna climb in here. But you know, I really feel like CD Projekt Red should just hire the modders to bring all of this stuff to consoles, to every platform. But we're gonna roam around in third person a bit more and check out what the city looks like from a third person perspective. All right, so you can adjust this mod, of course, in different ways, but sometimes the legs look a little bit funky at times. So I've zoomed it in a bit, kind of give it like a Resident Evil, Gears of War vibe. It's more a perspective that's a little bit closer up to the character, shows off, uh, you know, some of the hair, physics, I guess you would say, which you can improve the hair physics in this mod, by the way. There's other modders that have done some really cool stuff to improve the actual structure of the character from third person because by all means, they really did develop this game with the intention of not having third person at all, which in my opinion is still a shame. I was honestly thinking when they first initially revealed Cyberpunk but they were definitely going to, of course, do third person because of The Witcher 3. I mean, they already have experience with third person. And I was kind of gutted when I heard that they weren't going to do third person. But don't get me wrong, I love the first person perspective. Now, when you go into combat, as you can see, let's pull out our weapon. Just go straight into first person. It's kind of like um, Deus Ex in that way, where you have a mix of third person and first person which I think is actually really cool and it works well with this mod. And then once you put your weapon away, guess what? We zoom back out to third person perspective. Woo, oh wow, that animation actually looked pretty legit, didn't it? What? I was not expecting that. Oh my God. That's actually pretty good. Dude, <laughs> kind of, whoa, we got some, a fashion statement going on here. A world? Okay, that's pretty cool. I say. Yeah, I, I remember uh, also some of you are like, hey, it just seems like some of the NPCs have fuller clothing than we get. So that's something that uh, we all want to see is more, you know, clothing options, considering all these cool mods have come out for Cyberpunk. Look at this. Look at the lighting. Like, it just feels so different from third person. It's just such a different experience being able to see your custom made character with the clothing that you have picked out. There's so many different clothing options now and what's really cool with the transmog system they added recently, you can really wear the clothing that you want with the stats that you actually want. You know, you don't have to worry about having horrible looking clothing on despite having good stats and being forced into, into that situation that no longer exists in this game. They finally fixed that. So that is freaking awesome. And it makes third person even better now. Wow, look at look how vertical this game is. Like the one thing about Night City, in my opinion, it's one of the best looking open world games, open world settings I've ever seen. And they could just continue building upon it. That's why I want to see like infinite support for this game. Because they could just go vertical with the support for this game and bring us the interiors of mega buildings like Judge Dredd, all sorts of cool stuff. But uh, you know what? Let's go exploring. Let's see if we can get into some trouble, get into some combat. Maybe, just maybe we could do that and see how first person, like third to first person works. I'm in combat, so hopefully you could run into some bad guys. Now, I am level 50, and I've cleared basically all of the uh, 
bad guys on the map. I thought we might be able to bump into them here. All right, so this is cool. This is the actual menu where you can really mess around with the third person. So you can really alter it in basically any way you want. So if you want to have it more center, and then you can also zoom it out as well. Let me see, where is that at? You have to fill the view here. You can have it zoomed out. So if you're like a fan of Uncharted, you could do that and roam around in that manner. So if we close this down, do that, see? Check that out. Some of you might actually prefer this type of perspective. It kind of gets funky with the legs though sometimes. So this view might be weird. But look at this, it's very much, the, the POV is very skewed. You get more of a wide angle here, which I think is actually cool. It feels really nice though. If they added full-blown parkour to the game, it feels fast. Look at this. Woo! We got some parkour going on. Ew! That's just pretty be jealous. So if we go in here, I'm curious. Let's see what happens if we get into an altercation. I really have the uh, field of view high, don't I? Here. God! Alright, so then it goes down straight into... Ugh. Oh, it's on! I gotta heal up. I mean business there, not messing around. So I love how like exploration is really kind of like about celebrating your character from third person. Going off your customization and then first person combat feels very raw, intense, you know. That's cool. Alright, so let's see what happens if we put away our weapon. Oh, dude, the police have found us. Let's get out of here. Let me put my weapon away and see if it seamlessly goes back into the third person. Hey, it does. Check that out. It does work. That is awesome. So a little bit of like Deus Ex Human Revolution. In a, in a way, Deus Ex Human Revolution was really cool in my opinion where they handled the transition when you went into cover. You got to see that third person perspective. I thought that was always really, really cool. But yeah, let me know what you prefer, this type of view, or if you prefer it to be more intimate. And you could save up to five different camera angles of your own. So you could have different presets with this mod, which is really nice. So we're going to try messing around with the camera angle a little bit more by bringing up the menu again. So let's do that. We? Nice. All right, so let's try this again. We are still after us, though. Feels like something has happened with my character. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like at an angle all the time now. Yeah, so some really weird stuff can happen with the third person mod though. Oh dear. God, let me see if I can reset this. No, it's, that is so weird. So I have to actually change something. Oh, oh, oh. So yeah, so we kind of reset it. You bring up the menu. You don't want to do that. What we're going to do is go ahead, bring up the menu so we can actually control this. And I personally prefer, prefer it when it is kind of like zoomed in. So let me see if I can get this. Zoomed in here. Come on now, you can do it. And then the field of view, I want it to be more close. Bring this on over again, like that. There we go. There we go. That's looking nice. But this needs to come down this. A little bit, a little bit of the legs. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, that actually looks really good, doesn't it? Dude. <laughs> Now there is a mod that fixes some of the arm issues because the arms aren't exactly right, especially when it comes uh, to the female characters, but there's there's a fix for that because again, you know, this was not an officially supported thing. Third person was never supposed to be a thing in this game, but somehow, by some miracle, the modders figured it out and they pulled off the impossible and brought us third person perspective. Oh, dude. Okay, I'm backing up. I'm backing up. I'm sorry. Jeez. Holy crap. We almost got ourselves into a pickle right there. Here. Ah. 
All right, so we're going to continue exploring. But, uh, yeah. I'm going to really enjoy this for sure. And I cannot wait to uh, actually mess around with a lot of the clothing options. Customization options in third person. But thank you all so much for watching. Stay tuned for more. And I will see you all next time. Take care.